Good afternoon, June the 23rd. Time to wrap it up for this trading day, uh, approaching the end of June here in about a week. Um, so, came in this morning on the E mini, wanting to sell the 20 area plus or minus. Wanted to buy 13 to 15s, then 8s to 6s. So, this was buy one, buy two. And very, very tough, slow trading once again. Had this spike up to 20. This was our sell band, so that would have gotten you short pretty close to the 19 to 20 area, and it took us all the way down here uh, for a winning trade. But just really, 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 really tough going uh, in here. Just nothing in the way. And then you get a, another trade here that works. This S is a loser. Uh, there's no buy right here. A retest failure doesn't really produce much in the way of a trade. S right here could have been very easily a loser. This S was a plus. Retest failure. Uh, maybe make a point on it. So very, very tough trading once again. And uh, that's it is the summer. It's likely to be this way most of the summer. So you have to just pick your broad areas out where you want to be long or short the market. Put the trades on. Then wait a couple of three hours to get uh, the full reward. This high came at um, 10.03. The uh, eventual low came at 12.06. That's a two-hour trade uh, to get paid. So we have to d adopt different trading tactics. Market was up off the idea that there was a Greek deal. Um, probably is a Greek deal. It's being argued out in Greece right now. So on the... Um, F1 screen, we have an inside day that usually yields a trading range. On the F2 screen, uh, it's a B, but if we put it all together, uh, you can see that volume is holding in this 13 area. So trying to get long below uh, the uh, 13 level uh, works. Uh, for the last three trading days, four trading days. Uh, still dealing structurally with a pretty strong P. Uh, we have a B, so uh, if it doesn't rally up and out of this area, I mean, we're right where we were two days ago. On Monday, selling 19s to 21s, 24s to 26. On the buy side, 10 to 12, 5 to 7. News. GDP going to be revised from expected minus 7 to minus 0.2. So the economy wasn't as weak as thought. The uh, deflator is at 0.1. Inflation is benign and then crude inventories. And I won't know they'll have those numbers until in the morning. So the focus will be GDP and what goes on in Greece. So another quiet day, uh, and basically a seller 20 to 25 and a buyer 5 to 10. And if the bias is to the upside, it's not to the downside. Okay, on the note today, uh, we had our recovery into the two-year auction. We anticipated that. Uh, but we were also, they hit the market pretty hard before the um, the auction. Uh, the selling was attributed to Fed Governor Powell, who said we should be raising interest rates uh, in September. And that affected um, the dollar and the financials. Currencies went crazy off of that. So this screen says find a place to sell it. Fed officials do have clout. Uh, the news focus will be how much of a revision upward to get in the uh, GDP. Uh, we've got a five-year auction tomorrow. I think the easiest trade again to um, is to let them take it lower in the overnight and then tomorrow in the WXVYZ period, that little hour. 
two hour period right there find a place to get long because of the five year auction but right now it looks like we're headed lower so we're currently at 15 last rotate up stopped at 19 then at 20 and a half then at 23 so 19 to 23 sell 1 27 to 31 sell 2 on the uh, buy side, I think they're going to take it down a little bit in the overnight session. I'm going to put a question mark by 13. So we'd like to buy 5s to 9s. And then 29s to 01s. Don't think we can make our second level. But the market is selling. It is pointed lower. And we'll have to see uh, how low it can go before moving the five-year paper kicks in and takes over. Knob spread narrowed again today. Taking a lot out of that. The um, last rotate up stopped at uh, 06. We're currently at 28. Uh, then we stopped at 11, so a 3 to 7 sell. Obviously, we got to get through the buck to get there. Put a question mark by 49, could hold. And then 11 to 15 for sell 2. On the buy side, 13 to 17. And then 5 to 9. And it might take a 21. A lot of it just depends on what happens with the E-mini. Okay, gold is pointed lower. I think it will trade lower, but again, I don't think the bottom falls out of the market. So that 70 to 75 area is still going to be, I think, a reasonably good support. We're right here. Looks like it could trade lower in London. So let's make 70 to 72 by one. And we'll put a question mark at 75. And then 65, 67 for buy two. Um, favorable reports in the press about a deal between the Greece will accept it. And uh, it's hard to see how they can't accept it. But stranger things have happened. I mean, the Iceland solution is the correct solution, but that's tear your own world apart like that most of the general population it's a decision that uh, you'll have imposed on you rather than make yourself so we're basically selling 80s to 85s and we're buying um, the uh, 67 72 area Usually when we have a big day of selling like we had in the Euro, we'll get a pause day out of it. We, we rarely get two big days in a row. It can happen. And again, what's Greece going to do? But these long days like that tend to yield a pause day. So we had a low of 11.53. And it, it definitely looks lower. You can see the cleanest break in the markets down here at 10.75. That's a point away. Um, so this screen definitely says find a place to get short. I think the trade is to sell under strength in London. And then uh, if they can't break the market, take it from the other side. But you can see we didn't have a lot of, uh, lot of range in the day session. So 48 to 50. We're currently at 77. So buy one's going to be 51. Buy two is going to be 25. And on the uh, sell side, the buck, sell one, and 25 will be sell two.
and crude. A uh, crude. I, I mean, who in the hell knows which way it's going to go and what's going to take the break out of the range, if anything. I mean, the long-term uh, fundamentals are negative because there's more supply than demand, but it's been that way uh, since um, the late last fall. So we have a very, very strong day. If we put all this together, we're looking, see right here structurally, we've got a P for whatever the reason. So 61.50, 61.75. Um, is where resistance, the first little bit of resistance is going to be. So everything is pointed up on the F1 screen. So maybe stops in London above today's highs. So 61.50.75 sell one, two, two and a quarter sell two. On the buy side, the breakout came uh, from the uh, 50 area. So 50 to 75 buy one. And then 60, 60 and a quarter for buy two. And uh, it's going to take two days of buying to break us up and out. And we haven't been able to put that together of late. Okay, that's all that I've got for uh, June the 23rd. I will be on the uh, Infinity's website. Put the link back in the room for the webinar this afternoon from 3.30 to probably about 4.30 Central. Uh, if those of you are, that are visiting the room, uh, it, it'll be very, very informative. And for those of you that know it, it'll be a great refresher. So looking forward to seeing you in the room this afternoon, 3.30 Central, and I'll put that link in the room right now.